it's widely agreed that there is no single answer to the energy challenge we face. Security of supply, environmental factors and costs all mean we need a mix of solutions to keep our lives powered in the face of ever-rising population and consumption. Natural gas could play an important part in sustaining that global energy demand, providing a technically simple, low-cost, lower-emission solution from an abundant source that can be utilised to power both our homes and transport. But how big a role should natural gas play in powering our future? And is natural gas a real destination fuel, or simply a transitional energy resource whilst we search for something better? By investing in gas, we can cut CO2 emissions immediately half of the CO2 emissions compared to coal-fired power generation. Gas is the cheapest uh, uh, way to build uh, new electricity generation. It's very fast to install, much faster than coal or nuclear. Until Europe's energy system has moved to 100% renewable energy supplies, of the conventional fuels we have, Europe needs to phase out coal and nuclear first because these are the most environmentally problematic fuels. Gas can have, in a limited way, some role to play. There's no role for gas in the long term if we want to achieve our climate objectives. There absolutely is a very large role to play in the future for natural gas as a low carbon fuel. Um, it's known for its cleanliness and simplicity. The driving forces for natural gas are pretty straightforward. One is the economics. Uh, natural gas is very competitively priced at this point. Um, it's got a huge resource base, um, as much as 200 years supply, and that can change also in a positive way to having even more supply. Issue, of course, with gas and power generation is that Europe keeps paying enormous fuel bills for gas imports. Uh, money that could be much better spent on promoting innovation in renewable energy and energy efficiency. And this is what the focus should be. Gas security for Europe is really yesterday's issue. Uh, so much has happened and diversification of supply is the key. And really Europe is within reach of about 70% of the world's gas resources. They can be brought to Europe by pipeline or by ship. The infrastructure is there and more is being built. I think that policymakers A, have to recognize that gas has a huge potential. B, I think in the regulatory side, as we have both in the United States and in Europe, uh, move toward a less regulated industry and it's more of a market-free industry. I think the main thing in order to meet CO2 reduction targets is clear commitments by European decision makers for emissions reductions and that means increasing the greenhouse gas emission reduction target for 2020. Well, gas is contending very well with renewable technology. I think it will maintain uh, probably uh, 25 to 30 percent of the energy mix. Gas should not just be seen as a transition fuel, it's really a destination fuel. Uh, we need gas as a critical part of the low carbon economy. If we then start to add carbon capture and storage to gas-fired power generation, we can, we can cut down emissions uh, by 90%. If you use carbon capture and storage, you will need more gas even than you need now. And we don't need it. Renewable energy are cleaner, safer, and they can deliver. Gas will complement renewables. They can't do it on their own. Wind does not always blow. The sun does not always shine. It's clear that natural gas has a large role to play as we move towards a lower carbon energy future. But how far that future stretches is likely to remain a point of debate. Have your say on natural gas and the future of energy at commentvisions.com.